Madam, what kind of meat did you give me in that food? What's happened? The meat you gave me is just bones. Uh, bones? Sorry, sir. Sorry. I don't like it. Please, next time, don't do that. I mean, no, please. Please, don't go. Please, Sorry. Sorry, sir. Madam, let that man just come up from there now. Let me out. You forget it, for. Hey! You be good person, you know. Madam, let the man pass. Please follow like this. Eh? Don't go straight. Cross. Okay, okay. Like this, Abby. Eh, we eh, are no wala. Eh, my money now. I bet no first, madam. No first. I can take it. Eh, thank, thank you. Run, run, run. You go see him. Oga! 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 You forget your phone. Eh? That's true. You forget her for the restaurant. Ah! Uh, Ah, that useless woman. I should me forget my phone. Imagine she they give me meat where just get bone everywhere. Where are now? Okay, just like that. Which one is just like that? What other thing do you want? You pick my phone, you can't give me. I don't collect them now. What do you want again? Okay, you don't finish even say thank you. For my phone again. But now my phone you pick now and I don't collect. Which one be thank you? It's not in there now. If Nami pick person phone, I go can't give him. I know what I feel to. Okay, consider the reason I run from that side just to call give you your phone. You know if you just say thank you. No they shout. No they shout. Yeah, me soon. No they shout. Who do you pay for? I'm, I'm a shout. I'm a phone you pick for me, Joe. Okay, they shout. Guy, guy, guy. I bring your phone, call give you now. Now what do you feel tell me be this side they shout? I don't blame you now. Myself, I blame. Nami when do go somewhere with I will bring your phone, call give you now. I blame. No worry. Next time I go see carry phone, call give you. Yes. I remember. You can remember now? Yes. So that guy stressed himself and brought your phone to you. If it were to be some other persons, they would simply take that phone. But this guy stressed himself, brought your phone to you. You couldn't say thank you to him. Rather, you were rude. That is just the kind of person you are. That is just your life. You live a life of ingratitude and I can tell you categorically that it is because of this same life that you got fired from your company look at you now you are jobless and it's because of this same kind of life because I can see in the spirit that the person that's supposed to speak for you in that company the person that's supposed to stand for you is not happy with you because when he helped you to get job in that company you didn't show appreciation you were ungrateful to what he did and he became angry so when they were discussing your issue on the board he didn't contribute he just allowed them to decide your fate Lord. i can also see in the spirit that you have a lot of rich people around you yeah yes is yes, that correct yes you are right even in your family but none of them wants to help you none of them hmm? no they don't even pick my cause anymore. You are the cause of your problem. Ah. Hmm? People that help you are people you don't know. Exactly. Because of the life of ingratitude. I can see in the spirit that one of your uncles is a minister. Hmm? Yes. Currently. Yes. <laughs> Do you know that you, you have missed your blessing some time ago? Like, you are not supposed to be where you are now. Do you know that you are meant to be in government office in a very big position, but you missed it because of ingratitude? <laughs> God, I never knew. I never knew. Because I can see in the spirit that some years ago, when you were in the university, there was a time you asked that your uncle for school fees. And instead of him to give you the whole money, he gave you half. Is that correct? Yes. Eh? Yes, you're right. You expected him to give you the whole money because uh, he's a rich man. Yes, he has the money. But he gave you half. Yes, sir. And because he gave you half, you became angry. And that money <laughs> was nothing to you. You didn't send him a message of appreciation. You didn't call him to thank him. Because you were angry, he didn't give you the complete money. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes. Did you sign any agreement that he must help you? <laughs> Is he your father? No. <laughs> Let me shock you. That man used that thing to test you. And he had a plan that when you graduate from the university, he's going to place you in a position that will change you for life. Uh, but you close that door because uh, of ingratitude. Uh, my God. Let me tell you this. 
you will never go far in life. You will never attain to any greater <laughs> height. God. You continue living a life of ingratitude. <laughs> so you have to change. It is not about crying. It is about you changing. Change. You need to change your attitude towards people. You need to change. And for you to change, you need Jesus. Come close to Jesus so that you have a renewal of heart. When okay, that is done, you can begin to see changes in your life. Okay, sir. That is the only thing I can tell you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank God. Look at what I've done to myself. Oh. <laughs>